So James and Lana, I have this wine preserver. I have two wines that I opened up six days ago and we're gonna taste through these wines and figure out which one was the Mumba preserved wine and which one was not. Stay tuned. Um, so here we go. I think this is a fantastic product and um, you know, I have a lot of people who say to me, hey, I, I'm looking for really this inexpensive wine style or wine type or wine from this particular region, but I don't wanna spend a lot of money on it. And oh, by the way, I want uh, lots of expensive wine glasses. I want a wine preserver. And so if you give people the opportunity, um, I think it's a lot of consumers who, like yourself, who are probably watching this, who want to buy something that is going to work at within budget and it's not going to be that painful thing like, why did I buy that object? Um, but for me, I think this is a really nice way to celebrate saving wine. There's a lot of reasons to preserve wine. One is, um, say I have a lot of trips and maybe before the night I leave, I want a glass of red wine. And, um, you know, oftentimes I would, you know, just say, okay, you can only do white wine tonight because you're gonna just have to just have one glass and then save the rest when you get back. So this allows me, especially if it's a short trip, maybe it's a weekend trip or a three, four day trip, come back and have that red wine and enjoy that as if it were just opened up. So um, this is a nice product. Um, so it's really, um, you preserve this for seven days. It's a vacuum seal. It has a two lamp um, light here. And this uh, two color lamp will tell you whether it's charged or not. So if it's red, it's not charged and it's blue, it will be. And wonderful thing about this product is you can put this in back of your computer and charge this up. I don't need another power adapter. Thank you, Moomba, for thinking of that because I don't need another one. Another lovely thing is that, first of all, $22.99, I think that's the price that's on Amazon. You have four closures, so you can have four different wines and close them all up. That's a nice, nice factor. Um, you know, they could have just did one, but they did four. And uh, so it, it's supposed to be just low power, uh, safe to do, uh, very cool to, you know, put this on, and I'll demonstrate a little bit later. And uh, so I think for the price point, uh, again, going back to something that's more expensive, you can do a Corvin. I have tasted wines from Corvin uh, that have been um, treated for say four days or five days. Delicious, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, but for somebody on a budget, it may be more expensive. It does have an upkeep of the capsules. So they're about $17.99 also on Amazon. So you can look at the price points. So the Corvin's $287. This is $22.99. So it's a big difference in price point. And uh, just because you're starting out enjoying wine or maybe you're on a budget, that's another reason you might want this product. And uh, secondly, um, you know, I think a lot of people, uh, so if you're not traveling like myself, you may have a situation, you're in a relationship and one of the, the partners doesn't like wine at all. And you can't, you don't wanna open up a red bottle of wine and have the whole thing or two glasses per night. And so you wanna have one glass per night. You can definitely do that with this system. It's really cool. So what I did was I had this sealed already. It's been for six days. Uh, I didn't wanna do seven days. I just wanna do six. And so what I did on this is I labeled them number one and then number two here. I put the, the sticker on the bottom of one of these inside so I can't readily see it. Um, that's the way I know that that is the sealed, uh, Moomba sealed wine. So here we go, I'm gonna take a taste. I'm just gonna give some general, you know, I'm just gonna taste them and then I'll give some general impressions later. So I'm gonna start off with number one. And so when you're doing a test like this, you know, do a nice big bowl here. I'm gonna talk about the wines. These are Chianti Classico. I selected a lower tannic wine because I really wanted to see how, because I, I, in my opinion, these are the first affected. Uh, the heavier tannic wines, lesser affected over time, uh, but definitely will fill the effect of oxygen once open, right? So this was to really uh, test this out and see how the wine is going to uh, function after opening. And I did uh, seal it tight. And you definitely want to make sure you swirl it around so that oxygen will once again fold into the wine so you can smell and taste it. And now on to wine number two. Tasted both these wines. Here's my impression. This wine, uh, number one here, is the one that had the cork. Very, very flat in terms of the nose. So I did swirl it around. I'm hoping the oxygen enlivens it. To me, this was tired. So this had a very, very few notes that I could pick out. 
uh, dark cherry and a bit of pepper. It really wasn't that kind of wine where I'm thinking if, if the scent is failing on this, or maybe it wasn't a good wine to begin with, so I believe that this wine would taste exactly like this wine because they're the same wine if it had the same cork enclosure. But instead, I think that this wine is the Moomba preserved wine because it's more expressive. This is very, very flat, two notes at best. Now in this wine here, which I have in the glass here, I think it's absolutely splendid and beautiful because I like the characterization, the, the floral characterization. I'm getting Ethiopian coffee, which I do pick out out of Chianti Classico and San Giovese in general, especially from Italy. And I'm getting violet notes. I'm getting some pepper notes, white pepper notes. Uh, again, the, the really beautiful dark red cherry, black cherry, a bit of boysenberry notation on this. So it's much more complex and beautiful. I would be surprised if this were the Moomba wine. So now I'm gonna see, you know, does this have the sticker? So I'm gonna open this up just a bit. I don't wanna reveal the wine because it's not a review of the wine itself. And there's a pink sticker or a, uh, basically a post-it that I put in the bottom of this. Um, so I'll just see if this a post-it here. And I don't think it fell out or anything. I love graph paper, I use it all the time. I must have been an engineer in another life. Let's see, boy, I really take this up. Okay, um, so there is no sticker here. And then I'm gonna open this one up and see if it has a sticker in it. Uh, voila, there is the pink sticker. So I did pick the Moomba Preserve wine and um, you know, I think it's a fantastic product. I'll put more information down below on this producer. So let's go back to this one. I'll put the Moomba uh, Preserver on this. Uh, you put this on, I'll put this one away because it's already not been treated. This one has. And so I'm gonna take the power out because I don't need it right now. I'm gonna put this on top, bring this down so you can see that. Press the button on here. And the beauty of this is it's gonna stop when it's you know taking all the oxygen out of the bottle itself. And you can actually just leave it on the bottle itself and it's gonna stop in a moment. Okay, it just stopped and you can just touch it, tug it a bit, and you know that this is completely sealed. Um, I think for the price point, this is 95 points out of 100 points. I think it's a great device to have. I think for me, proof is in the pudding. When I taste it and try it and do the control myself, I like to think I can do a, a good double line study. I think it's fantastic. It's a really nice product. 95 points is, I think, a good point score for this. And um, it's something to give a try. Now, I will give a try to the Corvin at some point in the future. It'd be fun to you know compare and contrast and see what that is like. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Thank you so much for your support over the years. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Something.